After completing this step, you will have learned more about your receiver, transmitter, sensor, and sensor applicator, charged your receiver, or at least started to charge it, prepared your transmitter for use, checked that your sensor is not expired, learned why it's important to perform appropriate quality checks on your blood glucose meter. Your Dexcom G4 Platinum system is made up of three components that all work together, the receiver, the transmitter, and the sensor. Do not take the transmitter out of the tray until you are ready to start using your Dexcom CGM system. If you've been a past Dexcom CGM user, note the receiver, transmitters, and sensors from your previous Dexcom system are not compatible or interchangeable with the Dexcom G4 Platinum system. Before using your system, there are a few things you need to do. First, make sure to charge your receiver completely, as it is recommended that it be fully charged before you begin. You can charge your receiver one of two ways, by using a wall charger or by using a USB cable connected to your computer. A full charge can take up to three hours with the wall charger or five hours when using your computer. The battery symbol will begin to fill in as the receiver charges. When the receiver is fully charged, you'll see the battery symbol fully shaded green. Second, take the transmitter out of the tray and clean the bottom of your transmitter with a damp cloth or alcohol wipe and dry. You should do this each time you start a new sensor session. Third, check the expiration date on the sensor packaging to make sure you are not using an expired sensor. The expiration date is shown in a year, month, day format. Your sensor must be inserted on or before the end of the day printed on the sensor packaging. And finally, you'll want to do the appropriate quality checks for your blood glucose meter per the manufacturer's instructions. This is an important step. Making sure a patient's blood glucose meter is accurately reading their levels is key to making sure my patients have the best and most accurate experience with CGM. As you'll learn, your Dexcom G4 Platinum system is calibrated by your finger stick blood glucose readings. Making sure those finger stick readings are accurate is important to having your Dexcom G4 Platinum system work its best. So, take the time to make sure your blood glucose meter is coded and that test strips have been stored properly and are not outdated. You should check your test strips with control solution per the manufacturer's instructions. Note, some meters may not need to be coded. See your meter's manufacturer's instructions for care. In addition to making sure your meter is accurate, you need to have the best finger stick technique when you calibrate your Dexcom G4 Platinum sensor. Most importantly, remember to wash your hands before taking a finger stick blood glucose measurement. So, we've prepared your Dexcom G4 Platinum System components for use. Let's move on to better understanding your device. First, your receiver. Your receiver is a small handheld device that shows your sensor glucose readings in milligrams per deciliter, the direction and speed of your glucose levels, and your glucose trends and patterns. To turn your receiver on, you can press the Select button, the Left button, or the Right button. Note the up and down buttons do not turn your receiver on. Once your receiver is on, the display light is automatically turned on. If you want to access the main menu, you'll press the select button. To scroll through items, highlight items, and set values, you'll use the up and down buttons. To select an option that's highlighted, you'll use the select button. To confirm changes in settings, you'll also use the select button. To go back to a previous menu option or screen, you'll use the left button. To move to the next screen, you'll use the right button. Now, let's talk a little about the transmitter. The transmitter wirelessly sends your glucose information to the receiver. The transmitter and sensor are water resistant when properly connected. Keep in mind that your transmitter is not disposable. You will reuse the transmitter with each new sensor session. Another important point is that your transmitter needs to be within approximately 20 feet of your receiver for your transmitter and receiver to communicate. Even during the initial warm-up period that starts each new sensor session, you should keep your transmitter and receiver within this distance in order to get the best communication and minimize loss of CGM readings. Some additional things to remember about your transmitter. The Dexcom G4 Platinum Continuous Glucose Monitoring System is safe for use on U.S. commercial airlines. This device can withstand exposure to common electrostatic, or ESD, and electromagnetic interference, or EMI. 
The transmission range from the transmitter to the receiver is up to 20 feet without obstruction. Wireless communication does not work well through water, so the range is much less if you are in a pool, bathtub, or on a waterbed, etc. And speaking of water, your sensor and the attached transmitter are water-resistant when showering, bathing, or swimming. The sensor has been tested to be water-resistant when submerged up to 8 feet for a maximum of 24 hours. The receiver is not water-resistant. Do not get your receiver wet at any time. Your transmitter battery will last about 6 months, after which you will need to replace your transmitter. Your system will let you know when it's time for your transmitter to be replaced by showing you the low battery warning. This screen will first appear when there is about one week of battery life left. Finally, let's talk about the sensor and sensor applicator. The sensor is the part of your device that is placed under the skin on your belly and continuously measures your glucose levels. Sensors should be stored at room temperature between 36 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The parts of the sensor applicator are labeled in this picture. We'll talk more about the sensor and sensor applicator when we go over how to insert the sensor in step four. For now, there are two things you should keep in mind. One, unlike the transmitter, the sensor and sensor applicator are disposable. Two, if you have problems with your sensor session, you'll want to keep your sensor until you speak with Dexcom technical support.